I don't think I have the Alzheimer's gene, though I do. My father had Alzheimer's. Mm -hmm. But uh, for 25 years, I've had breast cancer and treated it mostly with raw foods diet. And Mm -hmm. in the last few years, really struggled with uh, inflammation due to introducing wheat back into my diet. Yeah. But I am on the only drug I'm on is a Remedex, an estrogen blocker. And that's always yeah. concerned me. Nobody yeah. addresses that. How does that affect my brain? I'm age yeah. 76. Yep, it's a great point. Uh, my wife had breast cancer 25 years ago as well. Uh, and she's done very, very well. Um, she was uh, also, uh, you know, same sort of story um, on prevention for the first about a year. And then she she decided to get off that and has done similar things to you, trying to address the, the various potential concerns. And yes, you're right. Uh, people who have ongoing inflammation, that is a concern. Uh, and, you know, again, you know, find out the things you mentioned introducing wheat. You know, definitely that's a common one. Uh, there are other grains and dairy, as you know. Um, Are you on an anti-inflammatory diet? Most of the time I am. Uh, I've had some struggles with it recently. Exactly. Um, And then as far as Remedex, yeah, I mean, this is definitely can be an issue because you have to remember um, the things that support your brain, the blood flow, the oxygenation, the mitochondrial function, the ketones, the glucose, uh, among those uh, are the you know, support, hormonal support. So anytime that you are messing with that hormonal support and reducing the support um, is a potential problem. Uh, and so the good news is it's one of many. So you can typically get away with sticking with that, but now doing all the other things correctly. Um, you know, do you know your vitamin D? Um, do you know your HOMA IR? Do you know your LDL particle number? Do you know your SPO? All these sorts of things are critical. Again, you have to remember this whole system works together. And so, yes, you can often affect one uh, you know, one thing and still do very, very well overall by addressing all the other things. And obviously you've already started to do that by looking at you know, when you've got inflammation. So I would optimize the other things. And you, know, you mentioned the, the APOE, uh, the, the Alzheimer gene. Well, you know, there's not just one gene, there are over 30 different genes, but we talk about APOE4 because it's the most common contributor, but there are other things. And we see, for example, people who have poor detox systems um, will often uh, ha- will often develop cognitive decline irrespective of uh, ApoE4 uh, because they have poor detox. Um, and so there are different reasons. Uh, Dr. Sharon Houseman Cohen has uh, developed uh, Intellex DNA, which is one good way to go. And she looks at detox systems and she looks at all the different functional medicine things associated with cognitive decline. I think she's really done a nice job with looking at all these different things so that you can then, you know, you can then target these different things. And again, getting with someone uh, who would be helpful to you with prevention of cognitive decline uh, would be another important thing to do. So again, uh, the fact that you're addressing these things early instead of very late is really a smart thing to do. Excellent, doctor. Thank you very, very much for this. Um, Up next, we have Gwendolyn. I'm going to go ahead and unmute you. Hi, Gwendolyn. Hello. Hi, welcome. What's your question for Dr. Bredesen? I'm speaking for Gwendolyn. Um, You mentioned something about an online cognitive test. Yes. Can you uh, say what that was again, please? Sure. Yeah. And there, and by the way, there are, you know, there are different ones as well. Um, the one that we typically use is called C, um, like cold, CQ. And if you look up CQ test from Apollo, A-P-O-L-L-O, um, you'll see though there's a, there's a free CQ test that will give you an idea, you know, where do I stand with my cognition? How are things going? And it's relatively sensitive. So you can begin to see changes. Sometimes people are surprised, like, oh, okay, Uh, you know, the things aren't as quite as perfect as I thought they were. And, you know, this has been one of the issues. We all come in, you know, there's, uh, you know, there's the old, uh, the old joke about the the guy and his wife. And, and, uh, you know, he said, you know, I think you're, you're what, you know, I think that you're not doing as well with your memory and I'm going to give you a memory test 
Uh, can you go into the kitchen and can you make, uh, you know, some eggs and some hash browns and some, uh, and some sausage and some coffee and come back? She says, no problem. She goes in and she's banging around. She comes out 15 minutes later and she's got ice cream with some uh, hot fudge on it. And he looks at her and he said, hey, you forgot the cherry. And so, you know, he doesn't have a good memory. She doesn't have a good memory. And so many of us just live with that. Mm-hmm.